Hello everyone, in this video I've got a walkthrough on how to beat Rifts to Core Hall on Brutal Difficulty while playing as Tychus. So in this video we are going to be using a little bit of a different strategy and it's a little, yeah, it's, it's a little different. So we're going to go with uh, Muscle Armory first and we are going to be using all of the Muscle Outlaws in this one. And then aside from the Muscle Outlaws, we're going to have Tychus of course and then we're going to use Sirius Sykes. So yeah, it'll be Tychus, Sirius, Blaze, Cannonball, and Rattlesnake. And uh, what what are we going to do about the healing? What are we going to do about the healing? We're going to be using Rattlesnake's Revitalizers. So hopefully that should be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down a refinery. I'm going to get our expansion down first. And I'm going to be kind of using that buy, buy, buy strategy where instead of going for other upgrades first, I'm going to try and go for all of Companies the outlaw upgrades base. first and try to get and those those ultimate upgrades and then have super powerful outlaws versus getting the engineering bay before i get those upgrades we'll see how it works okay enemy waves incoming we'll have take is pretty quick here i'm not going to build anything to defend we'll just take the the incoming hits because he will be done by the time they start attacking us Okay, yeah, I'll tell my teammate I got first wave. Don't die, teammate. Move your SCVs, man. You gonna bark all day. Boom. There we go. <laughs> See how easy that was? Okay, and then as soon as this expansion's done, we're gonna move it straight over here. I'm loving the super fast expand. It is the way to go, absolutely. Let's go ahead and throw down a refinery here. And I only need one other building. That is the Gunslinger hideout. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that down as well. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and lift off our command center. And we'll bring it over here. So yeah, that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that bye-bye-bye strategy that I was talking about. So if you watch that walkthrough video for that achievement, bye-bye-bye, bye-bye, uh, the Backstreet Boy pun. <laughs> Don't know if any of you caught that. But uh, yeah, if you watch that video, essentially you need to get all five of your outlaws ultimate upgrades by the 20 minute mark starcraft time and in order to do that you have to basically only build two buildings that have outlaws at it and then you need to only get the upgrades for outlaws first before you do anything else e even before like building medevac pads that's how much you have to give up in order to get that on time now that void shard needs to be destroyed. Okay, I'll send Tychus over here to start taking out that void, yeah, that void shard down there. Okay, let's go ahead and send all the SCVs up to this mineral line. Okay, don't want to get surrounded here, so we're going to do a little bit of micro, keep the SCVs coming. Okay, and then we're going to start setting up some hotkeys here. And I need to have a hotkey on Tychus. We'll put him in two and three. Just in case I slip up. That's what I always do. It makes me feel comfortable. Make sure to kill those Bane lanes with that barrage. Ooh, focus on the Bane lanes. Don't want to take those hits. Ah. Oh, well. Let's see if we can out. Oh, oh, they ran away. That worked out well. There, I got two of them. Okay, and Tychus is still alive. That's the main thing that we wanted to happen. Just gonna wait on the next refinery there. This is all saturated now, so we can just leave it be. And we're gonna go ahead and start getting our upgrades for Tychus. Oh, he got frozen. Actually, you know what? We should get out Seer. No, Rattlesnake. We want Rattlesnake out so we can start getting those heals. And then we'll get the Mobius Aggression Blend. Units in the range of Rattlesnake's Revitalizers gain 20% additional attack speed. That's what we really want. So Tychus starts doing a lot more damage. And let's start healing him up a little bit faster. Because Tychus heals on his own, but the Revitalizer is just a little extra boost, so it's really nice. Okay, and we'll keep on pumping out these SCVs here. Okay. And then we'll get Umojan Signal Modulator. Improves the healing rate of Rattlesnake's Revitalizers by 100%. And then we'll also get... Uh, purchase. Oh, actually, no, we're not going to get this one yet. Heals Rattlesnake for two life per second, increases his attack and movement speed for 15 seconds. We're not going to get that yet. We're going to wait on that one. We are going to get some upgrades for Tychus first. 
So I always get this one first. Kelmorian Ripper Rounds. Tychus' attacks decrease the armor of their targets by 5 for 2 seconds. Then we'll get the KD-9A Implosion Core. Lost Tychus Shredder Grenades. Sorry, had to do a little bit of micro there. Uh, to uh, pull affected units to the center of its area of effect, stunning them for 2 seconds. And then we'll get this one next. Vanadium Shell. Increase the damage of Tychus' uh, Shredder Grenade by 50. Okay, and then we can get that last one in a little bit. I'm not going to get quite yet just because it's 1,200 minerals. And I want to get some other upgrades for other outlaws first. Okay, and then we'll put you... Oh, I've got too many SUV. I might... I pumped out too, too many SUVs, darn it. Oh, oh no. Oh, thank you. My teammate just, just saved my base. Oh, oh, I take it back. Hey, it's a good thing I had those extra SUVs there. Dang, that was awesome. Awesome save by my teammate. He was on top of that. That was that was impressive. Right when I needed it, laser beams, boom. Okay, and we're gonna get this next outlaw, Sirius Sykes. Oh, he is a beast. Sirius is probably my favorite outlaw. Not gonna lie. Okay, all SCVs are out, and I guess these are gonna be my repair SCVs. <laughs> we'll leave them there for now. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this down. This will benefit my teammates as well. And let's throw down a couple turrets while we're at it. And I don't need any detection upgrades yet because... And I don't even need any detection units because you have Sirius. His turrets automatically detect units. So you have your detection and your healing without having a healer or a detector, which is kind of crazy, right? These guys are very strong together. Seriously. Okay, let's get out that turret. We gotta take out these burrowed units. Okay, let's hit that guy. Pull these units closer to us. Gotta get those infestors. Jeez, the micro game's heavy. Oh, nope, I don't need any more SCPs. I just need upgrades, that's what I need to do. Okay, so I messed up my hotkeys somehow. So, I'm gonna just start doing this game upgrades for Sirius. I always get uh, this one first, SA-55 Thunderbolt Missiles. Equip Sirius with missiles that deal 100 damage to 8 air targets, or Hound Turrets deal 100 damage to 2 air targets. That's impressive, seriously. Okay, let's hit all these guys with a nice Shredder Grenade. Throw down a couple turrets, throw down a Revitalizer, start healing. Turrets are great for the distraction, so your other units start healing. Okay, so yeah, we'll get that, that upgrade. What was it called again? SA-55 Thunderbolt Missiles. Okay, and then we're going to get Mobius M34 Terror Rounds. That allows Sirius to put a 30% chance to fear enemy units along with like a 3% chance for the turrets. And then we will get that next one as well, which is D99 Detonator. When Sirius is defeated, he triggers an explosion, dealing 300 damage to enemy units in the target area. Okay, and then we are going to get the last one right away. I love this one. Favorite upgrade, Umojan Turret Frame. Increases the life and weapon damage of Sirius's Warhound turrets by 75%. Super impressive. Okay, and then let's uh, increase the tax speed all those guys. Boom, already done. And then these two guys, Tychus and Sirius, that's our only AA with this setup. But the thing is, Sirius and Tychus are so good together at AA, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and get these turrets set up. Get the revitalizer ready. A couple different turrets out. Already done. Nothing worse than pirates and traitors. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get this. Nope, I want to get another outlaw, actually. We're going to get Cannonball out next. Uh, Rob Cannonball Boswell. Now this guy, he can take some damage. He's a beast. <laughs> and I love his grappling hook ability. Okay, so uh, we're going to get some upgrades for him now. Uh, purchase X-71 impact boots. Increases the stun duration of the radius and radius of Cannonball's heavy impact by 100%. Then we'll get a critical response system, allows Cannonball to become immune to damage for 5 seconds, oh, and restores life when he takes fatal damage. Cannot occur more than six, every 60 seconds. Minute. That's really, really awesome. Oh, the downside, downside of these, these outlaws, they get stuck in enemy armies. Okay, let's just throw them right into the heat of it. Shredder grenade, boom, done. And a revitalizer. The best part about Cannonball is his ability to stack damage, right? I think it's this one right here. Yeah, Redline Power Cells, which we're going to get now. 
here. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, purchase red line power cells. Increase the cannonball's attack speed. Cannonball's attack speed by three percent with each attack, up to a maximum of sixty percent. Increases his attack damage by three with each attack, up to a maximum of sixty. <laughs> it's crazy. And then malice ammunition provides a thirty percent chance that cannonball will deal four times more damage with his attacks. That one is nuts. So if you're like doing damage to a single target, cannonball is a beast. He's he's seriously going to take down single targets. So like bonus objectives that are ground units at least. Oh oh, we got a pull series back. That was a little too much damage. Gotta throw those turrets down for distraction here. Need the tanks in the front. Tanks gotta be in the front here. Here, let's see what what is Cannonball up to. He is at. <laughs> look at the damage. Look in the green. Look at the green. Look at his attacks just keep boosting. And look, I take it back. Like <laughs> the boost just keeps working. I wonder what the what the cooldown is. Okay, it must be like maybe a second or two cooldown. So like if he stops attacking for a second or two, that cooldown or that uh that stack goes away. But seriously, that's strong. And got to make sure to use his uh his heavy impact ability because that pulls him to the target location dealing 20 damage and stunning enemy units in the impact location. Okay, let's go ahead and get another turret down. I need to get him, I need to get Cannonball healed up before he gets too much more damage. And let's go ahead and throw down some of these turrets here. I need these turrets to start uh, doing a little bit of distraction work. Come on, we need a revitalizer here. Come on, all you guys get together. Okay, and then we're going to get that upgrade for Tychus now. Sure Shot Network Helmet increases Tychus' weapon damage by 20% for each outlaw in his immediate vicinity. Okay, and then we're going to get Secret Stash Impact. That's the one I talked about earlier for our Marauder. We've got an enemy wave coming. I think our teammate's going to deal with it. If not, we can always pull down the, the Odin. Void Shard terminated. See, like, these Void Shards? Cannonball is great for taking this stuff down. Look at that. He's doing 110 damage per attack, plus minus 0.8 weapon speed. So he's he's actually doing one. He's got a weapon speed of one, which is ridiculous. So really good for taking down objectives, essentially. And then finally, we're going to get Blaze. And everyone knows Blaze is great at area damage because of his oil spill ability. Yeah. <laughs> That, that ability needs no introduction. It's fantastic. Hammer munitions. Rattlesnakes attack and or attacks slow and deal 50% of their damage in an area of effect. So basically we'll be able to slow a bunch of enemy units. And then all we have left is Blaze's abilities. So we'll get uh, high capacity containers, increases the radius of Blaze's oil spill by 100%. Uh, Hades oil improves the damage dealt by the in flame effect from Blaze's oil spill to. Well, actually, we want oh, this one first. Wild flame attacked. fuel additives. When units inflamed by Blaze's oil spill die, they explode, spreading inflamed to enemy units in the area. That one you gotta get first because it's like oh, the bad, most important. <laughs> it's it's definitely the best. Okay, and then we are going to get teammates going straight in for the kill on these bonus objectives, which is really good. Okay, and then we are going to get this upgrade right here. Hades oil improves the damage dealt to the, by the inflame effect from Blaze's oil spill to deal plus 25 damage per second to light units. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down a revitalizer, a couple turrets, get the distractions going. Spread them out because that way, if that bonus objective starts attacking you, it will not take out all the turrets. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, and then Rattlesta uh, Rattlesnake gets stemmed, essentially, Let's make them with this uh, upgrade that we got. Secret Stash Impact, which works out really well for us. Uh oh Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did we lose one? We lost one. That's okay. We're going to get him back. Oh, we lost Sirius. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> got to pay attention for that, because if you're not prepared... Sirius gets taken out in a couple hits, but that's why he has those really strong turrets to make up for it. And we can keep pushing, honestly. There's no reason we can't can't keep attacking this. I'm gonna call down the. Yeah, we're calling down the Odin here. Okay, let's just keep Cannonball there for the moment. Let's just keep pushing in. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and we'll oil spill that hybrid. Oh, okay now. Okay, we're gonna go home base. And 
I'm going to throw down a couple of these medevac pads. See how I didn't even get any upgrades from the engineering bay? This mission is going to be completed before I'll even have any uh, benefit from that engin bay engineering bay at this point. So I'm not even going to get it. Now, if we're playing on like the Vermilion problem, at this point, after I have all the ultimate upgrades for my units, which I have now, combat suit reduces all damage taken by, uh, to blaze to 30 damage. But yeah, after you get all ultimate upgrades, then at that point, I can't even get up here. Look at this. I can't even get up here because his units are in the way. <laughs> I'll try beacon. He's not letting me in. So this is why you need a medevac pad. There we go. <laughs> I'll destroy his Thor to get him out of the way. There we go. Okay, we'll go off to the left. But yeah, um, once you get all of those ultimate upgrades, then at that point, you're going to want you're going to want to get down the engineering bait. And I would go first for the attack speed upgrades and the health upgrades. And actually, I'm just going to throw down an engineering bay to show you what I'm talking about. But like I said, this is going to be finished so quick, we're not even going to have time to really look at it. Yeah, I won't even have time to get it built because we're doing so much damage, it's ridiculous. Yep. Boom. This strategy is incredible. These heavies tank all the damage, so you don't need to worry about Lieutenant Nakara. And then you have Rattlesnake healing, which is great. And then you've got Sirius for the detection. And then, and then our other tank does a ton of damage here. What's, what's his name again? I gotta go check that out real quick. Let's look at units. Ah, yes, Cannonball. Cannonball does an insane amount of single target damage. And not to mention, like, I mean, Tychus already does an insane amount of damage. And then Sirius does an insane amount of damage. And then you have Cannonball doing a serious amount of single target damage. So the objectives are going to fall right away. And then uh, Rattlesnake's ability, his Revitalizer, buffs, buffs all of your units in the Revitalizer, that is. But Cannonball specifically gets that reduced attack speed. <laughs> and then and then so he, he his abilities stack right so he's doing so much damage right and then you have if you have any big waves of enemies coming you've got rattlesnakes turrets to distract them and then you're going to have miles blaze lewis the oil spill ability to burn them all and then you've got tychus with the shredder grenade that's going to do area damage and then you've got <laughs> you see how you see where i'm going with this it's just like boom 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 there's so many that it just counters like everything it works so well so i'm super pumped about this strategy so yeah we're gonna call this strategy um <laughs> something let's go bye 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 muscle strategy heck yeah because we're getting all the upgrades for our muscle commander so bye 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 muscle strategy yeah Maybe I'll throw that in the thumbnail or something. But that's all I have in this video for you, everyone. If you have any questions at all, post that in the comments section. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this and found this to be helpful. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I'm coming out with a bunch more Tychus walkthrough videos and walkthroughs for all the other commanders as well. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.